Hello everyone, this video is about how to 3D print engraved text without supports. We're going to give you some tips on how to go about doing so. In order to understand any of the video's content, you first need to understand the principles of 3D printing, which we're not going to teach in this video, you should already know. Therefore, you need to first understand the face that the text will be on, which is the orientation of the print machine. The answer of this tip, really the tip is that every letter is extruded with a 45 degree draft that is the key so I'm giving you the answer right away and then in the video I'm gonna show you how to do this and I'm gonna dive into the details because I know your time is very valuable so that's the answer so the 45 degree draft allows for the letters to have a vertex at the bottom you can pretty much select any font installed in your computer but not all fonts will draft correctly so I'm gonna show you the best fonts that we think are the best for the engraving and then uh, there's a little bit of trouble that you may run into and we're going to give you the workaround. So anytime you have punctuation in these engravings, you'll have errors. And it may drive you crazy as to why you're getting the errors. And that's because of the punct punctuations, periods, and apostrophes. And we're going to show you the workaround. So here we go. Uh, this is a phone holder that we've been designing here at Pipeline. Designtheproduct.com. That's our website. And if you want to learn a little bit more about us, we are an engineering firm. We build all kinds of consumer products, as you can see designtheproduct.com and we also have an academy mypipelineacademy.com in which we teach you mechanical design how to be a mechanical designer and use SOLIDWORKS so that's a mini shout out back to the topic so here we have this uh, text that we have an engraved cut and the problem is that if you were to print this text just as it is it will have supports if this bottom is the, the build plate so it builds like this layer by layer and then when it gets here no problem but when it gets us here this layer it's going to need support because this is greater than a 45 degree angle but even when you add the 45 degree draft it's going to fail for two reasons so this is some of the key content that we're giving away uh, whenever you do the 45 degree draft here I try to do it but it will fail First, I'm, I'm showing you guys, we have to show you this so you remember. When, when teaching something, it's important to let the student fail, and then you give them the answer. Because if people struggle, and then you, you receive the solution, then you remember it a lot more vividly and clearly. So it's failing because of this reason I'm going to show you. When you edit the text, it's having a problem doing a 45 degree angle here, because of the dot com. So you need to go in there and remove the dot and just put a space then I'm going to try it again it's going to try to do a 45 degree draft and it's going to fail again now guess why and this took me a little while to figure out I had a mini little frustration moment as to why is this happening uh, I had to make the video and I didn't realize why it was happening it's because of that eye right there so I want to print my website on my different parts and I can't because of that little eye. So what's work when I ask myself? Well, in all caps. So let's give that a shot because we're going to remove that little eye. So design the product from lowercase to uppercase. No period. Design the product.com. That's probably well. And now the 45 degree draft worked. Now I want to make sure I show you guys the 45 degree draft, I don't, I don't want to skip over that part. Very important to not take shortcuts when teaching something. There it is, the 45 degrees. Now those 45 degrees causes a vertex right in the middle of the part. Now I'm going to do a cross section to show you guys this. Build plate down here, layer by layer, and when you get it up here, that's a 45 degree angle. So that will not require support right there. Now, there's a little bit more that we need to go over. You need to be careful with the fonts you select because some fonts uh, will give and will make this um, 
this cut fail. So you need to pick fonts that are a little bit larger, a little bit wider, and the fonts that don't have um, little dots sticking out. So you want to do all caps. And what else I want to teach you? Let's see. So how do we get around? Uh, what's the workaround? Because we have to put a dot. They're easy. Just make a sketch. We've all done this before. I'm gonna do it real quick. I'm not even gonna dimension it. We're gonna just gonna extrude that little cut. I think it was 0 0.06. And there you have it. This is the tip to print without supports. It all depends on where your build plate is, which I highlighted here in pink. If you guys want to learn more about mechanical design and how to design your own products, head on over to mypipelineacademy.com and contact us. And we do have workshops. We go to engineering places, uh, engineering companies, and we have uh, workshops, lunch and learns that we offer, and we can teach you various tips on how to become the best mechanical design engineer you can be. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share on social media. The more love you guys show us, the more we'll be able to grow. Until next time.